I go back to Brother Thomas. Uh, I still call him Bro T, even though he's he's off being David Bowie now. Which I'm, I'm you know, hey, to each his own. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, hey, it's your life. You know, if I, I you do your own thing. No, he's also doing his own thing. I mean, I, but he's off doing doing that that whole you know being an entertainer basically. Uh, his blog. He he has a gift. Not just with me, he's a hell of a singer, but I mean, not just as a singer and songwriter. He has a gift and had a gift. I haven't checked up on him lately, so I don't know. I've kind of gone through a spiritual disconnect there for whatever reason. But he's had a gift uh, about this whole situation that we're in right now. And... uh, he, even now, I could say he's the most accurate. See, you know, ask the Lord for more gifts. Ask the Lord for more understanding. So the child of God, what should the child of God be doing right now? Being a prayer of, you know, being eyes looking forward, being discerning, being praying, seeking the Lord for answers, uh, spreading the gospel when possible, teaching the children, you know, just going about your, what you do, what you've been doing is what you should be doing. Um, And though one thing that people have failed to do that they need to do a better job of is witnessing. If you're witnessing a takeover uh, politically, that's going to eventually mean, you know, certain changes that would be an anathema to God, then it would be up to you to say, hey, I'm noticing and witnessing this Take over, Lord. I'm a witness, and I'm reporting what I see. Not what I want to see. Q appeals to what you want to hear. What you want to see. And you keep hanging on, hoping it's true. Rather than what we do see, what is there, what is happening. And the Q people become blind to the actual truth, the actual reality of what's happening while calling everyone ignorant but them. That everyone's ignorant, but them who are on the inside really know what's going on, you know, and deciphering all this. And, of course, it's man worship. It's inaccurate. And it leads to complacency and to dropping of the guard. And it leads to being conquered. And it's the perfect ploy by the perfect enemy. Now, here's the thing I had to try to understand. If we're being conquered, if there's, if they're going to succeed with this new world, or at least in some form before the end of things, uh, then we have to adapt. Uh, we Very quickly, we must pivot into total focus on the Lord, total focus on salvation, total focus on prayer, total focus on... Uh, the, the you know doubling down on all the things of God, the Bibles, the the, the teachings, the uh, everything. That's the only place of refuge, not the state. The state's not yet not really a place of refuge. I think a lot of these MAGA people are thinking the United States is the refuge. You know, is the, the th- they're worshiping the United States, not really worshiping God. It, you know, so God's taking away that security. And he's taking away that unity we had. He, he, God, is taking that away to make us more dependent on him, amen? Right? To make us more dependent on him rather than just sis, boom, ba, rah, rah. More dependent on God, less sis, boom, ba. What I see is uh, what God is doing is he's empowering his people in, in, in endowing them with great gifts of the Spirit. These people will quickly become the seers, the visionaries, the ones that the world would have to rely on to find out where things are going, what will be the outcome. But it looks to me like the Lord is empowering his remnant, empowering us with great you know, visions and, and prophetic words and interpretations and becoming the seers of the world. The the Lord's people will become, you know, not they're not today, but over the next few months and years, they'll become 
the seers, the visionaries of the world, uh, the the prophetic voice of the world. The uh, you'd have to go to one of these people to find out what's happening. Their their psychics and sorcerers just can't quite pull it off. So that's in the works now. So I see God's people being lifted up while the other people are being exposed and even a hand of judgment on some of it. 